In this video, I'm going to talk about how I've integrated ethical thinking into the critical thinking assignment um, for my biology courses. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things I do on the PowerPoints. This PowerPoint, you'll be able to probably get a link to it as well as to the tug sheet and to the question. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each slide. Um, what I've done, and I've done this in the past, even when doing critical thinking, is I've just given them a definition of values. And I got this information from a, a site online that talk specifically about how to teach bioethics. So I talk about what values are, I go through the basics of morals and how those are more about actions uh, based on your values, and then I talk about ethics and the difference between being ethical and ethical thinking, and that ethics is a process of thinking, and that we're going to go through how to teach or how for them to learn how to go through the process of ethical reasoning. I do talk about a sub area of bioethics because in biology most of the issues that we're going to use for this assignment are going to deal with bioethics. So the first thing I go over them with them is what is an ethical question and so this is a list of things that make a question ethical as opposed to legal, personal, and so on. So I go through that with them and then I talk to them about other types of questions, like I said, legal, scientific method, personal preference, and so on. And then I took this assignment from that same site, and it gives a list of questions and has the students, and I put them in groups for this, has the students go through and determine whether they're ethical, legal, personal preference. Um, one problem with this question is this is supposed to be one of the ethical questions, the kidney question. And the problem is with this question, it's, it is ethical, but they shouldn't have used kidney because you can give a kidney and you, you have a choice of who you give that to if it's a parent or so on. So I kind of say um, one of these questions is truly ethical, which comes down to the should people select the sex of their child in advance. This one is somewhat ethical. I said if you change the organ to like a heart, that the only way you can give a heart is if you're dead. And so it comes down to choices that are made if someone is an organ donor. Uh, the rest of the questions fall into the other categories. What I then do is I actually give them the exercise we're going to do. I don't give them the specifics, but I tell them here's the question, ethical question you're going to try to answer um, during a flu outbreak. There's not enough life-saving vaccines, so who should get it? Before I give them the specifics, though, I hand out the eight key questions. I think it's important to, for them to go through which questions are important before you give them the details of the ethical issue that they will be dealing with. So what I have them do is I tell them you've got 10 people and six are going to get the vaccine. So which of these eight questions do you think are going to be most important in terms of answering or determining who's going to get the vaccine? And so I put them in groups, like I said, and they come up with, and usually for the vaccine one, they come up with outcomes as being a significant, you know, who you pick based on what the outcome of that person being picked is going to be. They'll come up with empathy. Um, fairness is another one that tends to show up. And so this gives you a chance to discuss the questions. I also share with them there's a lot of overlap from these questions. But you'll see that the groups will come to a consensus usually on your issue, on which of the two or three are the most um, important questions or the most helpful questions in going through this ethical exercise. And then I hand out the 10 people. And what I tell them to do, I give them a sheet uh, 8 by 10 with these eight key questions big. I said, I want you your discussion. You talk about each person, but I also want you to talk about, you're going to talk about why you think a person should be saved or not, but relate it back to these questions. So I keep emphasizing to them that they need to come back to these questions that they thought were important and use those answers to those questions to verify or to validate who they're choosing or not choosing to get the vaccine. So we go through that whole exercise. Um, that usually can take, oh, 20, 25 minutes, but it's really good because it gets them into the questions and it gets them thinking, it gets them discussing, um, talking to each other, uh, listening to opposing viewpoints, which I tell them they have to respect, and so on. So once we go through that exercise, then what I do is I present the general topic for our ethical thinking process and questions that they're going to have to answer. Again, I don't give them the specifics of the question. I just give them a general overview and then they have to start thinking about what are the eight key questions that are most critical to processing the issue that we're going to go through. What they usually find is that they're not the same questions that they were going to use for the flu 
vaccine question, which again emphasizes to them that for each issue, different questions may be more or less important or relevant is probably a better word in terms of going through the process. I then lead them through, I then give them the specifics on the issue and then we go through the tug sheet. If you're not familiar with the tug sheet, it's a sheet um, I developed from a book I read on critical thinking and I've modified it to include spaces for the eight key questions and so on. And I think in talking to the people in charge that you will have a link to the modified tug sheet. I then, once we go through the tug sheet and how to go through and fill out the tug sheet, which is kind of an outline, I then help them map the tug sheet information to the questions for the assignment. And I've also heard that you will have a link to those assignment questions that I have used in the past. Um, so the tug sheet is kind of a outline, a more visual outline that then leads them to the questions. I do emphasize to them that the um, questions need to be much more in depth than what's on the tug sheet, that the tug sheet again is just an outline to help them and guide them. So I think for most people, if you've been doing a good critical thinking assignment, a quality critical thinking assignment, it is very easy in my mind to move to an ethical thinking um, assignment. Uh, it actually makes it easier to teach with the eight key questions because they can really start to think about where their thoughts are coming from. Um, it leads them into context. It helps them with the stakeholders because they can think about how the stakeholders are answering those key questions that they think are most important to the issue. So like I said, there should be links to um, some of the uh, documents that I have uh, apply to here or talked about here. So you should have access to that. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. Again, I, this is Renee Lamontagna. I probably didn't say that at the beginning. Um, I'm in biology. Just send me an email and I can do and I will do what I can to help you. Thank you.